This started even before the election, and the city came to me because they were concerned about the threats from the Trump campaign and from others trying to stop the counting of ballots. And the concern was really imminent, which was there were various efforts, both physical intrusions as well as legal um, cases pen potentially brewing that were going to try to enjoin the actual counting of ballots in a variety of different ways. Um, and when the city came to me, um, for me, this was something that I had to get involved in. As a fourth generation Philadelphian, um, I believe in this city and I saw firsthand um, the integrity of the process that was set up, the, um, uh, that they were had a process that was designed to fairly and accurately and fairly and transparent, transparently um, count the vote. And I was proud to be able to be part of defending that process. After we first got involved in the election litigation, uh, the first steps were protecting the vote count. Um, the challenges were many, both at the state court level and the federal court level. There were so many grounds on which these lawsuits failed. They, they lacked the facts, they lacked the law, uh, they were premised on improper constitutional theories. And I was proud of the decision that came out of the Third Circuit. The decision made clear, and I'll, I'll quote it for you all, that voters, not lawyers, choose the president. Ballots, not briefs, decide the election. And that the public interest favors finality, the counting of every lawful voter's vote, and not disenfranchising millions of Pennsylvania voters who voted by mail. I'm proud that we were able to defend the uh, vote and not only have the vote counted, um, but the votes count.